Hey guys, Timmy the Runner Chef here, and I've officially started my ultra marathon training. So what I thought I'd do today is I'm going to show you where most of my training is going to take place. Most of it will be taking place on the Tweety Trail that starts here in Johnson City, Tennessee, and runs through Elizabethan, Tennessee. As you can tell from this, the sunrise behind me, I picked the perfect day to show you guys this trail. It's a beautiful trail. As you can see, it starts right here with a great sign that's lit up very nicely at, at night and in the, early in the mornings. And so I'm going to show you a little bit about this trail and what it has to offer. So let's go, guys. So I just started running the trail. And the first thing you're going to notice about this trail is the very first thing, it goes downhill. This is really the only only accent of the entire trail. You do have to remember though that if you're coming back this way you will have to come up this. So make sure you save a little bit of energy for this. This is a great portion of this trail. Run between a few cliffs. Once you get down the first hill about half a mile in it really levels out it stays pretty level all the way through Elizabethan. Now, right now I've came to my son's favorite part, the bridge that goes over the road. He thinks it's so awesome that he gets to ride his bike over cars. Let me show you what this looks like. This trail has some nice crush and run gravel all throughout the trail. This makes it really easy to run on. Much softer than running on asphalt or concrete. Right about two and a half miles in, we come to this Milligan Depot rest station. And this is a great place if you're going a long distance, you want to take a little time to just take a break. As you can see, it's a great place to watch the sunrise. So if you're looking for a nice, relaxing place just to sit down and watch the sunrise, two and a half miles into the Twitchy Trail can get you there. Also, you can see behind me, there's a nice field. Always horses there. Great to stop and watch horses if you have kids. This is a great place to just bring them. Just look around, just have a good time. I'm gonna get going. Just another half a mile down is my favorite place on the Twitchy Trail. Good morning. And just under three miles into the trail, we come to this place right here. Now, if you're here on a busy day, you can see lots of people stopped right here. It's a great place right here on the right side to park your bikes, take a little breather, be a great place to bring a snack, have a little picnic with the family. People are stopping right here for this one reason, this nice natural pond right behind me. You see that down there? What a view on the Tweety Trail. This is a great place to stop, take a breather, have a drink, get a little fuel in you, head on down the road. Tweety Trail, folks, this would be a great place for you to add some nice picnic tables, just a couple. It'd be a great place for people to stop, pack a lunch, enjoy the water. So let's get on down this road. I got another two miles to go. The makers of the Twitchy Trail really, really did a good job keeping the trail marked. As you see right here to my right, a nice mile marker. These are at every mile. They also have smaller markers that mark smaller distances along the trail. This also crosses the road at multiple places. They've done a good job marking that it's a, a road crossing as well as having, having stop signs for everyone crossing the road. Up until about four and a half miles, all of the road crossings are pretty pretty minor things. It's not big access roads or anything, but at mile four and a half, you come to a, a pretty major intersection. It has always been busy every time I've been here. So I do suggest you really use caution here. Stop, watch for traffic. No reason jumping out in front of a car and getting hit. About five miles in, you're in Elizabethan, and there's a great place here, five miles, called, called Betsy Bikes. 
can rent a bike for $13 for two hours. And you can park here. They're open daily. Rent your bike if you're in Elizabethan. Ride to Johnson City from here, come back. Take you about two hours. And drop your bike off. Get your car and you're ready to go. So if you're out here without a bike, wanna hit the trail, there you go. I guess if you got out here and you was running and you was too tired, grab a bike, ride back. So here I am, about five and a half miles in. My training run today was only around an hour and a half, so I've been running about 45 minutes. Give or take a few little seconds where I stopped to talk. So I'm heading back, put in 11 miles. Great thing is now I get to see everything again. So I'm always out here at least twice a week, if not three times a week. I'll be back tomorrow at a 14 miler. As my mileage increases, I'll be out here for a lot longer. I'll get to go farther into Elizabeth, which I haven't done yet. So I'm looking forward to that. Like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends. Come out and try this wonderful trail in East Tennessee. See you guys.